Welcome into the Spies and Huddle Web Extra. Ryan Gellner, Alex Egan here with you. We just got done listening to Coach Kleinen as we get set for South Dakota, the final regular season game of the week. What's your takeaway from Coach Kleinen today? I think a couple things, but the main point is that the Bison are getting healthier. And, and that's a big thing because that helps offensively, it helps special teams, it helps defensively. And as this team starts now, it seems to be peaking, to be also be getting healthier is a big thing this time of the year. It's a little difficult for some of these uh, younger guys that may have gotten some of their first action of the year in the closing moments, closing quarter of the Indiana State game. But Coach Kleiman touched on the fact that they, they're getting some of their guys their younger guys involved in game snaps, something that they wanted to do earlier in the season, but the non-conference schedule was so difficult that they didn't have the opportunity to. Well, we haven't seen the rotations that we've seen in seasons past. The offensive line hasn't rotated nearly as much as they have in the past. Same with the defensive line. And they haven't had huge leads. They have played a lot of close games, both non-conference and in the conference. So to get a backup into the football game has been a hard thing to do. Now, the good side of that is maybe with NDSU getting healthier, they won't need as many backups as one might think. So it may not be a big problem at all. If one or two key injuries goes down, they'll certainly wish they had time. But the way the schedule is played out, when you play big time teams in your non-conference schedule, this sometimes happens. We turn our attention to South Dakota. It's the final game of the season for the Bison, final game of the season for the Coyotes. The Coyotes are out of the playoff picture. Bison are still playing for a Missouri Valley football championship. What do you expect to see this Saturday as these two teams, it's a new head coach coming from Western Illinois to South Dakota and Bob Nielsen. He's got not really his players, but they're still doing some good things down there in Vermillion. Yeah, he's a good football coach and not a bad football team that won in the Fargo Dome last year. What to expect? I think North Dakota State, and I think Coach Kleiman pointed it out today, is I, I think North Dakota State, they're physically and emotionally tired. Coach actually said that. But I also think they know if they win this one, they get some time off. They get Thanksgiving weekend off, no games, they'd, they'd get a bye. And I think that now becomes a motivational factor is you get one more, you play one more, four quarters, get the win, you can take some time off. We'll get back at it, get ready for this playoff push. It should be an exciting one on Saturday. We'll have the coverage for you beginning at one o'clock with the Farmers Union Insurance Bison Football pregame show and then the game as well at two o'clock. We hope you'll join us then.